we've talked about reconfiguring, doing things with Texas, maybe modifying today's race. It looks pretty racy. There's a lot of accidents and people losing traction. So, what do you think about the race today and going forward? Yeah, I mean, once the second group came in, you could kind of move around. Um, but, but really, if you have a really good solid race car, you can still really manipulate the air and all that stuff. Uh, the car behind, but. Yeah, you can move around, make some passes, um, but but this track is starting to wear out a little bit, and um, it's slicker, I guess. What did you? What do you think you needed? To yeah, I just need to not give up the lead on that restart. That's, that's basically it. There were times where you seemed to be the dominant guy out there. There, there was a point where you were about four tenths of a second faster than anybody else out there. Um, unfortunately, the had some trouble on pit road, but we were able to run Hamlin down after that. It's a bit disappointing to end up fourth, but it could have been far worse. Yeah, I mean, we should have won today. That's all there really is. We should have won today. That's all there is to it. All right, thanks. So, fell out of the way for front stretch. And you walking out of here with a nice top 10 finish out here today. Avoided the chaos and brought on, and brought on a good day. How was this premier's? premier security Chevy today? Oh, it was really good. Um, just got spun there and, and, and the handle went away. Um, you, know, you drag around uh, on flat tires. It's really easy to, to hurt these things and, and it's super sensitive. So just really didn't have a lot to race with uh, 100%. Just got buried in track position and um, thankful we could keep working on it. Uh, we put ourselves in the right spot for today with the circumstances with the yellow and um, put ourselves in the top 10 that feel good about coming home with some points and uh, obviously keep working towards this and be able to build on this. Yeah, early in the race, it didn't seem like this was going to be possible after you spun out in turn number one. Uh, just what ultimately happened there? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know, just um, just part of it and um, you know, able to just put four tires on it and get going and, and, and luckily didn't back it into the fence super easy for that to ha have happened, and, uh, but I'm not really sure. All right, man. Uh, what does this do? What does this finish do for your team going forward out of here? Uh, it's just big. You know, you obviously, there's there's bonus programs for everybody in the shop. So this is just inching closer to hopefully put money in their pocket, which is obviously huge and makes them want to come work the late nights and st spend time away from their families, which is um, more valuable than obviously these race cars. Um, but they still decide to work on these things. And, um, you know, days like today and, and runs like this. Um, Help keep that uh, keep that in mind for them. All right, man. Why Watson with FrontStretch.com here with Carson Hotsvar, a, a career best finish for you in the Cup Series, a first top ten uh, at a track you used to, that you won at last year in the Truck Series. Uh, can you describe your day and how chaotic it was out there coming back from a spin? Yeah, it was, I mean, obviously there's you know, so much happening. Um, you know, it's just really hard to pass. So, yeah. the positions you could really get is on restart, so it's, it's just really chaotic, and everybody just kind of knows it. It's open feeding season, basically, and, and everybody kind of knows if you don't push the envelope, uh, you can get you know, swallowed up. So just part of it, but super proud of the adversity we fought. Just after the spin, the car was not near as good as it used to be. Um, but we overall, had to, you know, yeah, we got lucky with the yell, but we still had to hold on and uh, execute all the restarts and do everything right. And we obviously executed the road, and proud we did that. Uh, coming back, like I said, to your first career win uh, here a year ago, and now coincides with your career best at uh, in the cups on the cup level. How much does Texas Motor Speedway mean to you? And do you think the uh, product of racing improved since the last time you were here? Uh, I'm, I'm obviously um, have had very few days leaving dissatisfied or unhappy. So uh, obviously enjoy coming here and with a lot of speed. Uh, I wish we could pass it around a lot more, uh, but we play in the sandbox we were given. Um, I was always told, uh, you know, don't play it, at least if you have the sandbox. So I'm, I'm happy and, and proud to be in this field. Um, regardless, we have to race with the, you know, the dirty air and struggle to, to move around. Obviously, it's super tough to, to do anything a lot, but um, yeah, just proud that we were able to. Have a good solid day. I'm looking forward to Talladega. Uh, the what is the excitement level for the team and for yourself going there? Uh, with obviously everyone has kind of a crapshoot kind of way of possibly winning that race. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, just, just nothing really changes. Just try to have a smooth day. Don't take us out of it by any means. You just try to have a smooth day all day. And I'll be there at the end. Talladega is normally a lot better than Daytona. Uh, this year, I think, or at least the next year, car. Um, so it's, it's going to be a track. Why well, Watson FrontStretch.com here with Chase Briscoe after uh, getting a sixth place finish. Uh, chaotic day here in Texas as always. Uh, Fifteen cautions here in one of them. Uh, can you describe coming back from all that? Yeah, just we had a really good race car. Uh, that's the, the kind of second part to finish six with a car that was really, really good. So, yeah, you know, we had to play that incident and, and with the flat tires, we, we drug the bottom of the car pretty hard there for a little bit. and felt like we probably lost some downforce there. At the end, I was just kind of hand-tied. I felt like just our performance wasn't the same that we had early in the race, but still, we were good enough to obviously kind of come up through there. We got a little lucky with how the caution fell, but we still had really good speed. So, just really proud of everybody in Stuart Haas. We've been really fast lately, I and mean, we just have to keep getting better and executing races. And uh, thought we did everything kind of perfect today for ourselves in position, and then the didn't fall our way. And then, of course, you said uh, that y'all have been more consistent. Uh, going to Talladega br brings a lot of confidence to the team, uh, knowing that you're you're in playoff position right now. Yeah, I mean that's the, the hard part about going to Talladega, right? You can lose a lot of points, or you can gain a lot of points. So yeah, we just got to go there and have a smooth, solid day. It's been a few races I feel like we don't. I mean, obviously you're going there to win, but if you just even come out of there with a 10th, 15th place finish, it's a solid day for where we're at our points position right now, just being so close to that bubble. So. Yeah, we've had really good speed, obviously, on the super speedways, and we should be able to qualify good there, so just got to try to uh, keep it up front. All right, thank you, Chase. Welcome to Race Face Digital, where you can buy, sell, collect, and trade digital MP4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five-card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com, the ultimate entertainment platform. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.